So a common question I get a lot besides the nutrition related topics that I cover is how to select your first road bike. So in this video, I'm gonna cover some basic elements that will help you get out on the road. So there are three main type of styles of road bikes out there aerodynamic, traditional, or more of a climbing type of bike, and then an endurance bike. So an aerodynamic bike, even just by looking at it, you can tell that is going to cut through air like nothing. They tend to have a bit more material on their frames, but that does mean that they're going to be a little bit heavier than a regular traditional climbing type of bike, where it is very minimal and it's designed for fast accelerations and flying up hills. And the other style is an endurance bike, which is designed for comfort for longer distances. But choosing a bike is much more than just the frame itself. You have all sorts of components on the bike that you can customize. Now, I don't wanna go over every single component that you can have on your bike, but the main thing you wanna focus on is the drivetrain, meaning the crank set as well as the rear cassette. Now, just like there are three main type of road bikes, there are three main type of crank sets. One of them is the 50, 34, 50 big ring on the outside, 34 small ring on the inside. And that is just really designed for taking on the hills and, and pretty much climbing. There's the 5236, which is great for hills as well as sprinting on the flats. And 5339 is what the pros use. It's, it's really great for flats and they actually use it pretty much on almost all the stages. When you talk about the gears in the back, also known as the cassette, the most common cassette that I have seen on bikes is the 1128. You could always go down to an 1125 or 1123 if you live more on a flat area. That'll give you more options in between each disc. And there's also some cassettes that will have a 32 big disc in the back that is just really to dominate the hills. So we've covered the different styles of bike frames, different types of drive trains out there. Road bikes also vary by the material. So I'd say the most two common materials used on road bikes out there, aluminum or alloy and carbon fiber. So as a general pattern, carbon fiber frames tend to be more comfortable and more light, but aluminum frames tend to be more durable, stronger, will be better on impacts and will definitely be cheaper. So those are just some general questions that you wanna ask yourself when you're thinking about investing into a road bike. I'm sure there are plenty of other, but these are just some basic ones. And if you want my opinion, I think if you're going for your first road bike, get an endurance bike, a bike that's gonna be comfortable and it's gonna allow you to build up the miles easily. Get an aluminum bike, that way if you have a crash, it's gonna be a lot more durable and you're not gonna be running back to the shop asking if it's covered by the warranty. A bike that has a 50, 34 chain ring so that way you're not limited and you are able to spin up hills. And an 1128 cassette in the back should have plenty of gears on there for you. Get the bike from a reputable brand, um, you know, the Specialized, uh, Giant, Trek, Cannondale, BMC, there's so many brands out there. And also make sure you get it from a good bike shop. So, you know, visit there, talk to the people and get to know them. I'd also say buy a bike that you like aesthetically. I mean, you can go through each option, right? Like, like, for example, you can say to yourself, I want to be a the best climber that I can be. But say you like an aerodynamic frame better than a climbing frame. That's fine. I mean, even some pros will ride an aerodynamic frame when climbing or um, a climbing frame when sprinting or, you know, they'll, they'll switch it up. I mean, Peter Sagan, who is, you know, one of the best sprinters in the world, rode a tarmac and became the road world champ you know and the tarmac is is a traditional climbing lightweight bike so my point is buy a bike that you like the look of that it's going to talk to you every time that you look at it and that way you're more motivated to go out on a ride with it another important factor is bike fit make sure when you go to the bike shop you know, you ask them about their bike fit, what it consists of, you know, how much it costs and, and, and really get fitted to the bike. They're gonna adjust your saddle height, your saddle length, you know, um, sometimes your handlebars and 
all this stuff it's so in depth and it's very very important because if the bike doesn't fit you guess what it's worthless even if you have a really really expensive carbon fiber frame and also mark your bike after you get it fitted mark it with like a whiteout pen or, or something that is visible so you if something does slip or something gets out of place or you take something out and you're replacing it you know you know exactly where it should be don't waste all your money getting a bike fit and then you come home and you, you change something and you forget where it should be. Also, if you guys are wondering what bikes I own, I own two road bikes. My first bike was a Giant Defy 1, an aluminum frame. Great, it was durable. That was the bike that I rode for my first two years into cycling. And just about a month ago, I picked up the Specialized Tarmac back there, that orange frame. And I freaking love the bike. I love everything about it and, and the way it rides, but don't get me wrong, I can still drop plenty of people on my heavier aluminum bike. The most important thing is focusing on yourself as a cyclist as opposed to on your bike. Remember, it's the rider, not the ride. Another tip would be to watch the Global Cycling Network YouTube channel because they are just simply the best. All the advice they give, you know, the interviews they do, the the reviews, the the tips, everything, just watch them. Seriously, you're gonna learn so much. I've already learned so much from them just watching them this past year, so honestly, I wish I found out about them sooner. My last tip would be always wear a helmet. So yeah, I know this might sound confusing, but if you guys have questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm pretty much anywhere you guys are, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, Google Plus, of course, here on YouTube. I'm on an app called Strava, which you might want to get into. Uh, it is seriously the Facebook of the cycling world. So anyways, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and post any comments or questions down below in the YouTube comment section. And also let me know what road bike do you guys ride? And if you don't ride one, let me know what your dream bike is down below. And just a quick announcement, I will be doing the Horrible 100 here in Claremont, Florida. It is a, a century ride, so meaning 100 miles. If any of you guys are doing it, let me know. I will definitely be there wearing my vegan jersey, hitting the hills, maybe getting some vegan dinner after that. So if anybody is in Florida, is interested in doing it, or is already signed up, hit me up. So anyways, that's it. I hope this video helped, and we will see you guys in the next one.